Well, good Monday afternoon to y'all. It's Dan. I want to welcome you to my home in the sticks. Hope everybody's having a show enough. Good Monday and a good start to the week. But over here in East Central Mississippi, I'm here to tell you, it was in the low 30s this morning and it ain't got over 50 degrees today. So it's a little chilly. Before we get started on today's video, I always like to mention that if you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And if you return just to see what old Dan's got going on over her, I sure enough thank you for coming back. But what I want to share with you and y'all today is we're going to look at a few things. Give me a second. That's what we finna do's. <laughs> Well, let's look at the garden, the fall garden, as a matter of fact. Radishes are looking real good, comfrey's growing, but look at how. I have no idea what's eating my kale. Surely a rabbit has not jumped up into this little hoogle bed. I tell you what, <laughs> it's always something. Look at that. I wanted to show you these cucumbers, and they are growing. These are the Persian cucumbers. I keep saying Parisian, but they're Persian cucumbers, and I have quite a few that are growing. I got a lot of blooms all over the place, and things are growing. Maters are looking good. Got some fruit sets all over the place. Collard's definitely looking good. All the other maters are looking good, and I'm happy to see this. Oh, Lord. Look at that collard. That joke just... Dang, they're growing grow bags. I'm here to tell you. Be time to harvest some of these jokers pretty soon. My only reservation is I know that it is going to dip down into the low 30s. We're going to get a good frost uh, probably here soon in the next couple of days, but it's going to be back up into the 70s uh, next week. So these plants aren't going to know heads from tails. I'm kind of worried about the cucumbers. I was hoping I could get a couple of cucumbers before it really got cold. So I guess we're gonna see how that plays out. But then again, that is East Central Mississippi weather. Let's go off into the shop. Today is gonna be a, a short video. Got a lot of stuff going on. And especially with the daylight savings time, it gets dark real quick over here. And I got a bunch of stuff I gotta do out in the yard and especially with the animals. So let's go in the shop and I'm gonna show you what someone should show you up in there. I got something in the mail. Mr. Jeff, I apologize for not bringing this up a little bit sooner, but I don't know what it is with old Dan and mail here lately. I look at it, set it down, and then I forget where I put it sometimes. <laughs> but it is what it is, and yeah, I got to put this out. So Mr. Jeff over at Grow Something with Jeff sent me some seeds. Mr. Jeff grows a whole bunch of stuff. It actually has a really nice uh raised bed garden he does some hydroponic stuff and i had commented on one of his videos about a harvest he did so mr jeff was kind enough to send me some seeds mr jeff i wasn't expecting this amount of seeds but let me show you and y'all what mr jeff sent me show enough mr jeff sent me a bunch of seeds from what he grows apologize for the light might be some shadows Send me some seeds from some stuff that he sure enough grows over there at his home place. Uh, let's see. He sent me a letter as well. Hope you don't mind, Mr. Jeff. Uh, it reads, Dan, I wrote them out in case you can't make out the packs. Hope you enjoy the seeds and they grow great for you. Keep up the great content. Grow something with Jeff. Let's see. Mr. Jeff sent me some lemon ice maters and this is a dwarf. Albino bullnose pepper some purple Russian tomatoes, lipstick peppers, the Ahi Dolce pepper. I don't know which ones are which. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read them, so I'm just naming them out. English liquor custard squash. I've never heard of that before. But we are sure enough gonna try to grow these over here at the Home in the Sticks next season. Mr. Jeff, thank you for the seed, sir. I'm here to tell you if I can get these guys growing here, I will pay it forward and share seeds from all the seeds that you sent me. Now the last thing that I want to show you, I did this, I want to say Saturday night. And look at there. Dan, what in the far is that? That there is kimchi. I love fermented kimchi, or just kimchi, which is fermented cabbage. I'm, uh, I'm actually gonna let this sit for about three or four days, give it a taste. It's not gonna last long. This was kind of like an experiment for me because I've had a good 
run of luck fermenting stuff. So yeah, I got some I got some kimchi going too. But if this turns out good, I'm sure enough gonna do a video on how I made this kimchi. Real simple, real easy. And I share with you and y'all what I did. Dan, why do you have it covered up? Well, that's because I don't want any sunlight to hit it while it's fermenting. So I just use a dish towel and just wrap it up. Well, there you have it. A few things that I wanted to share with y'all. Uh, a lot going on over here. Trying to get some kimchi going. Trying to keep the garden going with these crazy uh, temps that we have over here. 30 degrees difference from a couple of days ago. And Mr. Jeff from Grow Something with Jeff uh, blessed me with some seeds. I'll drop a link down in the description to Mr. Jeff's channel. Y'all need to go over there and give him a look because he's got a lot of stuff going on over there. It's, he's got some really nice raised bed gardens and he does some hydroponic stuff. So give his channel a look and if you like what you see, show enough, subscribe to him and hit the bell. So again, I hope everybody's having a show enough good Monday and I hope everybody's being safe amid this crisis that we still have going on. If you uh, like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up to help. If you haven't subscribed to the Home and Sticks channel, Lord of mercy, y'all need to come on over here and give old Dan a look, because I'm always doing stuff. With that being said, you know it's coming. Dan referee show enough, always gonna say it. Don't let nobody do your shine. And I mean nobody. You show enough, get your shine on. It's important. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.